Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes. Thank you so much for, for confirming that. So thank you guys for joining today and welcome to your session number two. I know it's Friday, right? But we're going to make the most of it. So today we're going to continue with session two. Thank you so much for being just on time, right? And we are going to talk a little bit about present simple, I mean, past simple, I'm sorry. And also we're going to try to, um, you know, get some important details, right? About uh, the topic that we studied yesterday. And also we're going to review some of the things, you know, related to the second part of it, right? Which is past simple of other verbs, right? So that's what we're going to do today. Just let me open up here my presentation and I'll share it with you. Guys, eh, yo les había preparado, bueno, les he preparado unos links Right, no se los he compartido aún, unfortunately. <laughs> right, um, I've been, I've been, it's been a very busy day today. Ha sido super, super ocupado. De hecho, mientras venía en el transporte que me trae a mi casa, les hice la, la invitación para la sesión del día de hoy. So it's been very busy, right? But don't worry. Um, vamos a, eh, permítame. Give me one moment. Vamos a compartir esa información tal vez mañana temprano para el que, acuérdense que esas no son tareas, ¿verdad? Solo son links para el que quiera practicar. Eso, eso sí quisiera aclararlo. No son tareas, solamente es un link para el que quiera practicar, ¿de acuerdo? O links, perdón, para los que quieran practicar. Y eh, aparte de esos links, ¿verdad? Eh, a, Tal vez un par de websites en donde ustedes puedan como eh, leer más información respecto a, a lo que es el, el tema, right? So this is going to be your session two, right? Today is September 9th, Friday, September 9th, and this is session two. So yesterday, pretty much, guys, we were reviewing a little bit of, you know, the first part of Pass Simple. And pretty much what I want you to do, it's for you to consider, you know, that point of view whenever we get a little bit confused, you know, with the two, uh, with the two forms, right? And it has to do a lot with the fact that we mixed, you know, two things. We were mixing past of verb B and we were, mix, we were mixing it with past simple of other verbs, right? So yesterday we started a little bit and we were able to complete some exercises. There were also some questions, right, that you made up at the end, right? Um, we were able to um, understand, you know, the different formulas, right, or the different patterns that we have when it comes to past simple, right? Uh, also, I shared with you the, um, it was like a, like a formula that I shared yesterday and those elements that we need to make up sentences in simple past, right? So we were saying that uh, if we need to come to make up affirmative sentences, right? Affirmative, affirmative sentences. We were saying that we need a subject, right? And we need the verb be plus any complement, right? Um, then, oops, sorry. Then also we mentioned, right, that if it is a negative um, statement, right, we're going to have the same formula with the only difference that the verb be is going to be in the negative form, right? So that's one thing, okay? And with the questions, right, you totally nail it. I, actually, you were telling me um, the, the right thing yesterday. So the verb to be switches, right? With the, uh, with the subject and it becomes, you know, uh, the first part of the question. And at the end, right, we add a question form. Okay, eso es lo que vimos ayer, verdad? Y pues tuvimos toda la clase, vimos todo esto, right? So now that we understand, you know, the different formulas for, I mean, the, the, the different uh, elements for the sentences with verb B, now it's time to move on, right? But before I move on, I would like to finish, you know, those exercises that I brought for you yesterday. It's a couple, ooh, let me see. I think it's a couple of exercises that I have. 
Uh -huh. And after that, we move to the next um, to the next topic, right? Y pues al final quisiera tener unos minutos en, sus, en los breakup rooms so you can put it into practice, okay? Así que let's begin, okay? It says Craig and Betsy have been married for 50 years, right? They are talking about their first house. Use wasn't or weren't with Pratt's word and was or were with one word from the box to complete their conversation, right? So you have to follow the example. And there we have some words. We have new, Italian, big, green, cheap, cold, and bad, right? So the first one is already used, right? The house wasn't warm. No, it wasn't, right? It was cold, okay? So let's think, let's take two or three minutes, okay? To take a look at the options that you have and please pick one uh, of the words to complete the sentences, right? Using simple past of the verb be, okay? So remember, yesterday we were saying we have two forms. We have was and we have where, right? Was and where. So was, we're going to use it with the singular forms and where we're going to use it with the plural forms, okay? So please take two or three minutes for you to be able to complete the sentences, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know. Two or three minutes. Voy a poner un timer y solo van a escuchar cuando ya haya finalizado, okay? So I'm going to give you three minutes. Take a screenshot and just write down the answers, right? Solo las respuestas. No escriba todo para que no le tome mucho tiempo. I start timer, yes or no. So guys, let's go ahead and answer, you know, the questions. I mean, the the, uh, the exercise. Don't worry if you haven't finished, right? We're going to do it together, 
Okay, so can I have a volunteer to help me with the first one? Number one, raise your hand if you want to participate, please. Okay, Mario, tell me. Okay, uh, Craig, the garden was small, Betsy. No, it wasn't, it was big. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and check the answers. That is correct. No, it wasn't. It was big. Thank you so much. Eh, Mario, okay. what a... Okay, go ahead, please. Pardon? Go ahead, Miguel. Okay. Uh, the neighbors were French, uh, not they weren't. Mm -hmm. The neighbors were Italian. Correct, right? You can say, no, they weren't. They were Italian or the neighbors were Italian. Both options are correct. Thank you very much. Uh, Gabby, please. The living room was red. No, it, it wasn't. It was green. Very good, it was green. Thank you so much. What about number four? Thank you, Gabby. Number four? Anyone? Thank you, Ceci. Uh, okay. Um, our first chairs were, expex were expensive. No, they weren't. They were uh, cheap. Cheap. Very good. No, they weren't. They were cheap. Thank you so much. What about number five? Thank you, Erica. Okay. Um, the kitchen was old. No, it wasn't. It was new. Excellent. It was new, right? Thank you so much. And the last one, number six. Volunteer for number six. Volunteer for number six. Come on, you can do it. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please, Jose Luis. Uh, okay. The local stores were good. No, they weren't. They were bad. They were bad, okay. Thank you so much, guys. Good job, okay. So, actually, I, I have to congratulate you because sometimes, you know, it's kind of... Um, difficult to determine, you know, when we're talking about third person singular and we're talking about plural forms. Now here, you know, it's kind of easy in a way because down below you can find the pronoun it, they, right, it, etc. Right. But if you if if you have only the garden, right, you know that the garden you're you're going to use it with the uh, subject pronoun it, right? So that gives you a hint, right? That it, we're talking about third person singular, okay? So always pay attention to the subject, um, in this case, subject or subject pronoun, right? So it will tell you or it will help you, right? To determine if it's going to be was or weren't the one that you're going to use, okay? So good job on that one, guys. And what about the last one, okay? Let's put into practice everything. Let's put into practice affirmative, negative, and question form, okay? So again, I will show you one more example, right? I mean, one more exercise. Take three minutes, okay? Take the screenshot and just write down the answers and we're going to check it. I will set the timer one more time. Pondré otra vez el timer. Two, three minutes, okay? There we go. You can do it.
Can you hear me? ¿Escucharon el sonido del timer? Yes. Ok. Yes. Sí, creo que, estoy en, creo que estoy en altavoz porque yo escuché en, en la computadora todo. Ok, so thank you very much. Now let's go ahead and check the answers. Uh, volunteers to help me with the, uh, with the exercise. Let's go with A and B. Ok, thank you very much. Go ahead. Um, was John in class yesterday morning? Very good. Yes, she was. Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Carla, please. Okay. Uh, were you at home last night? Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't. I was at the movies. No, I wasn't. I was at the movies. Very good. Excellent. Okay. The next one, Margarita. Were the kids with you? No, they weren't. They were at a concert. Okay. No, they weren't. They were at a concert. Good job. Thank you. Uh, Daisy, please. Were you and your friends at the movies yesterday? No, we weren't. Mm -hmm. We were at a soccer game. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, no, we weren't. We were at a soccer game. Thank you so much. And the last one, please. Thank you, Mailing. Okay, okay. Um, was the game interesting? Um, no, it wasn't. It, uh -huh. it was boring. It was boring, okay? Thank you very much, guys. So, good job, excellent. Now you understand the difference, you know, between the two forms and how, in this case, the simple past verb uh, works, right, with this type of sentences. Now, let's go ahead and put it into practice, okay? We're going to have an activity right now. And the, uh, let's say the main focus of the following activity, guys, it's for you to put into practice I mean, all of them, right? Affirmative, negative, and question form. How are we going to do that? Where? What we're going to do is that we're going to ask questions, right? We're going to ask questions related to situations in the past, okay? Now, we're going to do it like this. Oops, sorry, bear with me. Creo que se vino para acá la imagen. There we go. So we're going to do the following, right? It says who, right? Let's practice who. And don't worry, I will share with you all of these in the chat, right? So you can have it available, okay? And let's begin with the first one. Vamos a hacer algunos ejemplos primero y luego vamos a pasar a hacerlos a los breakout rooms, okay? So the first one says, asleep at six o'clock this morning, okay? Asleep at six o'clock this morning. So. Lo que yo quiero saber es quién, ¿verdad? ¿Quién estaba dormido a las seis de la mañana de este día, right? Okay, so first, right, how do I ask the question? ¿Cómo voy a hacer esa pregunta? Si yo quiero venir y le quiero preguntar a alguien, ¿cómo le voy a hacer la pregunta? Look, aquí está la pregunta, right? So, ¿cómo, lo, cómo voy a pasar eso a una pregunta? What is the first element? Do, um, solo que si me levantan la manita porque escucho a más de una persona hablar. No sé si, can you raise your hand? Raise your hand if you want to participate. Ok, thank you Margarita, dígame. Permítame, permítame, Marguita, es que creo que hay varios micrófonos activados. Permítame, permítame. ese es uno. Vale, ahora sí, dígame. Ok, eh, sería WH plus subject plus verb. Plus complement. Correct. Pero en este caso, ¿cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? Vaya, yo lo que voy a ir a averiguar es lo siguiente, se lo voy a compartir, ¿ok? Ok. Ajá. Todo lo que vamos a averiguar es lo que ustedes ven ahí. Ay, espérame. 
I will share it with you right now through WhatsApp. Así que go to WhatsApp group and let's go ahead and check it. Okay. Give me a second. It está pensando. Ahí se está, se está procesando todavía. Can you check, please? Did you receive it? Can you can you confirm, please, if you received the information? Yes, miss. Okay, very good. Are you able to see the questions? Sure, I received uh, a black picture. Ah, okay, yes. Uh, sure. Me too. No. <laughs> no carga. Me too. No carga. Bye. Don't worry, I'll share it one more time. Ahorita se lo vuelvo a compartir. Hoy sí, tiene que llegarles, ¿ok? So, that, those are the questions that we need to find out, ¿ok? Yo lo que necesito saber de todos mis compañeros, o al menos al, al, a los que voy a entrevistar, ¿verdad? ¿Quién era esa persona que estaba dormida a las 6 de la mañana de este día, verdad? Eh, ¿Quién estuvo con sus amigos el, el viernes pasado, right? Entonces, how do I make up those questions? Of course, in this case, the question is, who was asleep at 6 o'clock this morning? Pero yo no voy a venir, le voy a decir a mi compañero, who was asleep at 6 o'clock this morning? Porque le voy a hacer la pregunta a él directamente. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría pregunta? Sí, dígame, Maylin. Uh, no, solamente quería confirmar si vamos siempre hablando en el pasado. Yes, of course. Yeah, always. <laughs> Correct. Uh -huh. Si ustedes se fijan, chicos, hay una cosa bien importante, ¿ok? Um, there are some phrases that will help you to, uh, to, they give you a hint, ¿ok? They give you a hint, le dan una pista. ¿Y cuál es esa pista? Son las siguientes. This morning, o sea, hoy en la mañana, right? Last Friday, Sunday afternoon, last August, last week, um, this morning, last night, Saturday morning, etc. Todas las expresiones están en pasado. Son uh, uh, time expressions, right? They are called time expressions. And uh, you can use it to understand that this context is about simple past, okay? Entonces, la primera pregunta nos quedaría de la siguiente forma. Si yo vengo y entrevisto a mi compañero, le voy a, decir, le voy a preguntar, where you asleep, right? at six o'clock at six o'clock this morning y él me va a decir cómo me van a responder cuáles son las dos formas de que me podría en que me podría responder la persona yes yes I was I, or no I no. was very good, exactly. Yes, I was and no, I wasn't, right? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la segunda pregunta? Levante la mano, por favor. Dígame. Sí, dígame. Alguien dijo me, pero ya no escuché. Any volunteer? La segunda es with friends last Friday night. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? Dígame, Miguel. Yeah, uh, where mm -hmm. were friends last Friday night? Acuérdese que está entrevistando a, a una persona, entonces no le estamos preguntando por sus amigos, sino que le estamos preguntando a la persona si estaba con sus well, amigos el viernes pasado. Entonces sería, where you... Mm -hmm. My friends last Friday night. Correct. Were you with friends, right? Were you with friends last Friday night? Okay. And then the person is going to say, yes, I was. 
or no, I wasn't, right? The same thing. No, mm -hmm. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la siguiente pregunta? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la siguiente? Si no lo ven bien aquí, pueden verlo en el teléfono, no hay problema. Okay. Next question. O sea, acuérdese que lo que usted tiene ahí es el complemento. Dígame, Maylin. Eh, sería, um, were you at home on Sunday afternoon? Yeah. Correct. Were you at home, right, uh, on Sunday afternoon, right? Prácticamente lo que tienen ustedes en esta lista son los, son los complementos, right? Entonces, de acuerdo a la fórmula, ¿verdad? Lo que yo necesito agregar es mi verb y mi subject. Eso es lo que estamos agregando. Where, verb be, you, subject. Were you asleep at six o'clock this morning? Where, verb be, you, subject, complement. Were you with friends last Friday night? Right? Verb be, you, subject, complement. Were you at home on Sunday afternoon? Right? So that's the way we're going to make up all the questions. Prácticamente a todas las preguntas es where you, right? And then they are going to answer you. Pero teacher, ¿y entonces qué vamos a hacer cuando regresemos de los breakout rooms? Usted me va a contar al menos dos o tres cosas que su compañero hizo. Por ejemplo, digamos que yo vengo y le pregunto a, a Gabriela, a Gabriela Stephanie, okay? So Gabi, um, let me see. Were you at home on Sunday afternoon? Last Sunday, last week. Were you at home on Sunday afternoon? Yes, I was. Okay, very good. Entonces, cuando yo ya venga a los breakout rooms, I'm go I mean, from the breakout rooms, I'm going to share with the class. Yo voy a compartir al menos dos, ¿verdad? Cosas de lo que mis compañeros me contaron. Entonces, si vengo yo y les cuento acerca de Gaby, I'm going to tell, well, I, she's Gaby, right? I, or I interview Gaby. And she says that she was at home on Sunday afternoon. She was at home on Sunday afternoon. Es como contar, venir y contarnos lo que ellos les, les dijeron a ustedes. Ok, entonces, ¿hay alguna pregunta con respecto a la actividad? ¿Quedaron claras las instrucciones? Or do you have a question? No? Ok. Eh, no sé, Meili, si tenía preguntas. Es clear. No. Clear. No, no, no. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Now let's go to the breakout rooms for a moment y aprovechemos a poner en práctica el verb, uh, verb be, right? In simple past. Just give me one moment. ¿Cuántos somos? 14. So I'm going to open. Um, lo voy a poner en parejas para que tengamos oportunidad de hablar. Okay. So if there's someone, okay, um, in, in the room y no estaba platicando, avísenme a través del chat, ¿verdad? Para que yo los pueda mover a, otra, a otro room donde hayan otras personas con las que sí pueda conversar, okay? Así que let's go to the breakout rooms. Ahí lo voy a estar visitando, okay? And let's put into practice what we're doing right now. If you have any questions, also once I get to the, to the breakout room, you can ask me the questions. Ya pueden ingresar, okay? You can access to the breakout room and practice with your classmates. Ya la, uh, bueno, ya se fue Carlita, ya la voy a mover a otro room. Let's see.
Hi, Oscar. Can you hear me? Hello. Uh, well, hello. Are you having problems yes, with the connection? Oh, okay, Oscar. Thank you. Uh, what about your classmates? Were you able to talk with someone and to ask the questions? No sé si es que acá está lloviendo y lo escucho bien por la llamada, no sé. Yes, I can hear it like that too. Si se escucha como que está teniendo mala conexión. So let me go, let me move to another room, okay? Y lo que puede hacer es eh, desconectarse por un momento y volver a conectarse para ver si eso le ayuda a resolver el problema. De acuerdo. Can you hear me, eh, Miguel? Tuve problemas, me sacó la pantalla de... Yes, a mí también. I don't know what happened, pero a mí también me sacó. Probably there was like a, a problem. Una pregunta, no. Yep. Una pregunta yo a él, pero en eso me sacó. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's true. Parece que a todos nos desconectó por algún motivo. I don't know what happened. Sí. But, uh -huh. but don't worry, okay? It's okay. I will go ahead and um, send you one more time. Just give me one moment. Porque ahorita se están agregando los demás también. Se cerró la sala. Yes, I know. Se cerró y a mí también me sacó. <laughs> okay, bye. Let's do it again. Let's see. Um, ahora sí, lo voy a asignar nuevamente, solo que lo va a mandar a otros rooms, ok, por cualquier cosa, let me know, y ahora eh, sí, espero que funcione, ok, ahí voy. So you can access that now to the breakout rooms, please. Hey, hello, oh, okay. how are you? Fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great, girls and boys, because Miguel también. So, do you have questions? ¿Tienen preguntas? No, por el momento nosotros nos quedamos hablando solos hace ratito. Yes, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. It, it even disconnected me. Ajá, hasta a mí me desconectó. Digo, ¿Qué? ¿Qué sucedió? No, don't worry, it's okay. So, you can start asking. Pueden preguntar, solo me quedo un momentito y así sigo escuchando a sus compañeros también. Okay. Okay. Okay, Carlita. Uh, were you happy yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay. Okay. Um, were you born in San Salvador? Yes, I was. Okay. Um, were you on holiday last August? Yes, I was. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. were you <laughs> were you tired on Monday morning? Tired on Monday morning. Mm, no, I wasn't. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where are were you at a restaurant last night? No, I wasn't. Okay. Um, you can ask Miguel to remember to uh, ask him. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, the question, uh, Mario, uh, 
where you play uh, football this Sunday? Um, pero ahí estamos mezclando dos verbos, estamos mezclando where y play. <laughs> No haría, eh, perdón, sería where you football the Sunday. Ok, en ese caso la pregunta que usted está haciendo es en pasado progresivo. Were you playing football last Sunday? Right. Entonces eh, puede tomar cualquiera de los que están en la lista y la pregunta sería Were you at um, the soccer field? ¿Verdad? Estaba usted en la cancha. Okay. El, 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 el domingo pasado were you at the soccer field last Sunday right? pero no mezclar los dos verbos porque recordemos que ese es pasado progresivo okay. try it one okay. more time inténtalo nuevamente uh, were you working yesterday again ahí estamos usando Present conti perdón, past continuous. Were you working? Estabas trabajando, right? Mm -hmm. And, sí, es pero, que ahí es donde me, me confundo. Eh, mm -hmm. Es que son, okay. son tres, son tres diferentes eh, cosas que estamos mezclando ahorita. Ya, ya hablamos del primero que es el verbo to be, que actúa el solito, ¿verdad? El mm -hmm. solito es ese pregunta, el solito es positivo y negativo. Entonces dijim, dijimos que el segundo es el, el que vamos a comenzar hoy, que es el pasado con otros verbos, que solo va el verbo, no, sin el verbo to be. Y tenemos el tercer tense en pasado siempre que incluye los dos, incluye el verb be, los otros verbos, más ing, y este es el pasado progresivo. Entonces son tres. Ajá. Eh, ahorita, por ejemplo, escoja una de las, de las oraciones que tiene en la lista, vaya al, al grupo de WhatsApp y escoja una y dígame cuál. Lucky last week. Muy bien. Entonces, la pregunta ahí es: eh, ¿estuviste de suerte, were verdad, you, las semanas pasadas? Exactly. Ah, right? okay. Entonces, were aquí, week, yeah. aquí lo que okay. estamos trabajando es ser o estar. Estabas, eh, mm -hmm. eras, etc. Mm -hmm. Try it again. Okay. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Voy a practicar. Yeah, no problem. Continue. Voy a moverme a otra sala, chicos, okay. para seguir apoyando a sus compañeritos. Ok. Ok. Ok, okay. okay Miguel. Wey, wey, wey. Hey, hello. How are you? It's Hola. me. I just, I'm just going to listen to you. But uh, also, I want you to know, do you have any questions for me? ¿Alguna pregunta, chicas, específicamente? ¿Algo que no haya quedado claro? Yes, ok, dígame. Ah, ok. It's, it's about the, this question. Mm -hmm. uh, were you born in, in this town or city? But um, la compañera, yo pensé, el town, yo tenía entendido que era como como el pueblo, ¿no? Sí, puede ser un pueblo o una ciudad, right? So, sí. eh, ajá, downtown, por ejemplo, cuando yo uso downtown, es el centro de la ciudad. Por ejemplo, el centro histórico acá que tenemos en el San Salvador, mm -hmm. en el centro, eso es, eso es downtown, downtown, el centro. Ajá. And okay. then we have town para ciudad, ¿verdad? Or village, también le llaman village al, pueb al village. pueblito okay. pequeño. Ajá. Mm -hmm. and, and yes, I mean, either or. Okay, okay. thank you. You're welcome. No, sure. Sure. Dígame. Entonces, eh, cantones sería eso. ¿Cómo? Repítelo, por favor. Village. Sí. Village. Uh -huh. I'm going to type it here. No sé si lo van a ver en el chat, pero es este village. Right, village. Mm -hmm. Está downtown, ¿verdad? Que dijimos que es el centro de la ciudad. Y town, que es en sí, la ciudad, ¿verdad? For example, I was born in San Salvador town, right? Or I was born eh, downtown, right? Pero probablemente un hospital que estaba cerca del, del, del centro de la ciudad. I mean, that could be, right? Or I was born in a village, right? En un, en un pueblo aparte, right? I'm, I, I wasn't born in the city, but I was born, you know, in a village, you know, in the countryside, for example. Mm -hmm. Uh, miss, uh, can you repeat, please, uh, what is town? 
town city, ciudad. right? Es ciudad. Sí. Eh, downtown, centro de la ciudad. And village, right? Puede ser un pueblo o, o un, una ciudad pequeñita. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Any other question that you may have? Questions? No. Okay, so you can continue. I'll, I'll stay here. Solo voy a escuchar a un par de um, participaciones y luego me muevo a otro room. Así que let's continue. No sé quién le estaba preguntando a quién, perdón. Estoy en el, con, con la chica que estaba anteriormente. O con ok, el... yes, continue with the questions, exactly. Ahí están ellas, ahí le están escuchando. De verdad, hola, hola. Hello. Yes. Hola. <ríe> es que no la miraba por eso. Ok, este, continuamos entonces. Que se me mm. pierde aquí la cosita. Uh, and the last one, were you happy yesterday? Yes, I was yeah. very, very happy. Okay, perfect. And you, were you happy uh, yesterday? Let me think about it. Um, yesterday was... Uh, were, were you on holiday last August? Uh, yes, I was. I was. I wasn't. Yes, I was. <laughs> I was in August, was. right? August. In August. Mm -hmm. August. Exactly. Very good. Hey guys, do you have any questions about about um, you know the topic? Alguna pregunta que tengan? Um, Uh, no, look, looking teacher is, is I'm sorry? Lucky. Lucky. Lucky de suerte, la suertudo. Ajá. Wow, lucky. lucky. Ajá. De suerte yeah. o suertudo. Ajá. That's what it means. Okay, teacher. Thank you're, you're welcome. Continue, please continue. I, I will listen to you. Ajá. Okay. Were you tired on Monday morning? Uh, yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, possibly, oh no. Where, where did you sleep at 6 o'clock this morning? No, I wasn't. Okay. Um, where do we train last weekend? Repeat, please. Okay. Where do we train last weekend? Ah, uh, yes, I was. Okay. Were you mm -hmm. at a restaurant last night? Uh, no, I wasn't. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi hey, do, um, you have, do you have any questions, guys, about the topic? Is everything clear? Or do you still have any doubts? Uh, teacher, yep. uh, we, we uh, I don't know, but the, the, the tarea era hacerlas todas o solo era una? No, no, no. The idea was to practice all of them. Uh huh. I mean, oh, todas las que se pudieran, exactly. And then you were going to okay. pick only two, right? So you could share that with your classmates, pero depende del tiempo, because in the end, what I really care about, lo que de verdad me interesa, what I really care about is that you practice, right? That you have a okay. little bit of time to practice. Mm -hmm. So you can continue if you want. Continue, yes, I will one, stay one here. One, three, one, three, four, four, sorry. Okay, but you can continue with the list, no problem. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Entonces, ¿cómo se la otra? Sí, sí. So, where were you on holiday last August? Where? Where you on holiday last August? Yeah, where? Was. Ya la pregunta es where or was? Where. That's correct. Where are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where you holiday last August? Okay, the next one is um, lucky as week. What do you think? Were you lucky last week? Were you lucky last week? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Were you lucky? Were you lucky, Andrea, or not? Estaba de suerte o no? Yes, we're. Yes, I was, right? Yes, I was. Very good. Okay, one more. Mario. Okay. The next one. In the shower at seven o'clock this morning. Uh, Where? Who was? Who? I think who was in the shower, but. It's where you actually. Uh, right? where are you? Mm -hmm. The idea is to find out who, right? But the question that I, you know, ask to my classmates going to be, were you in the shower at seven o'clock this morning, right? Were you in the shower, okay. Were you in the shower at seven o'clock this morning? Okay. Uh -huh, Andrea, did you take a shower? <laughs> um, yes. Um, yes, I... I Yes, I not. In this case, the question is, se, o sea, que si usted estaba en la regadera a las 7 de la mañana, lista para bañarse, right? At what time do you take a shower? Uh, yes. At what yes. time? Uh, At what time? Uh, six. Ah, okay, uh, at six. Well, Very good. Morning. Very good. So if you were not in the shower, right, at seven o'clock this morning, so the answer is, la respuesta sería a la pregunta que le hizo Mario, no, I wasn't, right? No, I wasn't because yeah. I take a shower at 7 a.m., right? So cuando Mario le pregunta a usted, were you in the shower at seven o'clock this morning? Your answer is, no, I wasn't yeah. mm -hmm. because you had already taken a shower. Ya se había bañado, right? Okay. Very good. Guys, I'm going to go back to the main room y ya me los llevo para allá, ¿ok? Ya les aviso. Ok. Mm -hmm. Hola, Ceci, solo quiero decir algo. Está, no sé si está por ahí. I'm sorry. Es que le dije a ella que a Sleep era, era despierto. Ah, <laughs> it's the opposite. <laughs> yeah, it's awake, right? Awake. Es Ajá, awake. Ajá, Very okay. good. Sí. Uh -huh. ah, pues este, pero no, yo creo que no se ha unido todavía. Who is it? Debe estar buscando. Yo creo que ella, eh, Cecilia, creo que decía. Ah, ok. Ceci, are you uh -huh. here? No, no yet. Okay. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> sí, ya va a ver. Ha de estar buscando. <laughs> Hola, Ceci. Ceci, are you there? Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, I have problem with my computer. 
No problem. Uh, Maylin just wanted to correct herself. So she wants to tell you something, uh huh? Es que encontré que es que estaba diciéndole que a Sleep era eh, despierto, entonces no es por mí. Solo quería confirmarlo con Very good. Ajá, es que... <laughs> it's the opposite, right? Okay. Guys, thank you so much, right? So the idea here is to put into practice a little bit of what you, you know, uh, get, you know, from the class and to um, make your own sentences, right? I mean, that this is just an exercise, but the idea is for you to create your questions, to ask the questions, right? And then interview your classmates. So pretty much, guys, in the uh, section one, remember that this week, o sea, clase uno, dos, tres y cuatro, which is going to be this coming Tuesday, you have to complete sections one and two, right? So right now, pretty much, we have worked the first section. And in the video that you have in the platform, you will uh, you will check the two parts of it, right? So right now we uh, we have just talked about simple past, right? So hemos hablado de la primera parte, que es acá. Estamos acá, this section. And I will use something here so you can see it. Acá estamos, you see? Todavía no hemos tocado esta parte de acá, right? The second part, Probably we will, I uh, pensé que iba a poder hacer la introducción hoy, pero ya no se pudo, la clase bien corta, right? Pero ahorita estamos acá, the, the circle, right? And then we're going to move to the square that we have here, okay? And that is just for you to know, right? That we are, you know, like breaking down, right? This uh, lesson or section number one, okay? Now, um, let me just erase everything here and close here. Then in the video, right, they explained a little bit about past tense with the verb be, and then they focus, but in the simple past of other verbs, okay? Entonces, hablan un poquito de los dos, right, and explained a little bit about how they work, right? Como funcionan, etc. When it comes to the formula, it's almost the same, right? But uh, the only thing is that in here, we're working only the verb B, okay? Entonces, remember to watch the videos, right? The videos are for you to um, kind of complement that information with the one that you see in the class, right? So this video is uh, about the two different sections, but we have talked only one of them. Then you will find the... Um, What's the name of this? The knowledge check, right? Uh, please try to complete them, right? Then we're going to continue moving to simple past the verb be, right? Entonces, aquí ya se enfocan en esa, segunda, en esa primera parte, right? Which is simple past the verb be, okay? So you can watch the video, right? And they will explain a little bit of what I was explaining, okay? Entonces, eh, aquí empiezan con... El pasado de otros verbos siguen con verb be, pero yo comencé con verb be y luego el pasado de otros verbos que se puede decir la forma tradicional de hacerlo, right? Entonces, this is going to be um, the second part of it, right? So, if you have completed that, congratulations, right? So, that's the idea. And then we, you move to the um, knowledge check and you continue. También pueden usar el bookmark. Por ejemplo, si usted está aquí en el knowledge check number 1.5, Viene usted y utiliza su bookmark. ¿Dónde está el bookmark? No sé qué le pasa, se ve súper grande así. No sé. Aquí está. Ese es el bookmark. Aquí dice bookmark this page. You click on it. Usted le da clic y automáticamente le deja un marcador. Right? Entonces, whenever you want to go back to that section, you complete it and you unbookmark it. Right? Entonces, eh, si hay preguntas de la plataforma, chicos, también quisiera saber Hay alguna cosa que no haya quedado clara en la plataforma that I can answer questions. Yes, Ceci. Eh, sí, Miss. Eh, ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos para completar la, la, la número uno, la sección uno? Well, one and two, right? Because the first week is one and two. La primera, la primera sección y la dos están programadas hasta este próximo martes que viene, right? So you have all these days. That uh, for you to complete all those sections. Uh -huh. um, como les digo, no hay problema si se adelantan, chicos. You can do it. De todos modos, yo siempre voy a ir aquí cada semana trabajando cada sección. 
but if you have questions about you know different sections you can ask me and i'll be more than glad to go ahead and answer those okay now um the the next section guys the one that i'm uh, that we're going to be working next week is past simple right now past simple it's different verdad and here right we're talking about the rest of the verbs aquí se ya el verbo to be pues no tiene nada que ver right remember a menos que funcione el solito verdad con como verbo ser o estar but verb be we just you know leave it behind right nos despedimos de él por un momento and then we move to past simple past simple it's different past simple is different i'm sorry and the reason why it is different is because um we are going to use the rest of the oh yeah i'm sorry mario tell me teacher excuse me i want to know something yep past simple is the same uh, to simple past is another way to say simple past yes that is correct oh, okay. you can okay. find it in the two different ways uh -huh. not a problem i know for i know uh, about simple past, past simple, confuse me. I use it in both, you know, <laughs> past simple, simple past, el primero que se me viene a la mente, right? But yes, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. And I was saying, right, uh, one of the things that we have with past simple is that um, we have two types of verbs, right? We have regular verbs and we have irregular verbs, okay? So in this case, guys, my recommendation is to practice and to study the irregular verbs, okay? I think that's a headache, right, when it comes to simple past. Y saben una cosa, chicos, um, cuando nosotros no nos aprendemos esta lista de verbos, no tenemos la seguridad para hablar en, pa en pasado. So that list of verbs will help you boost your confidence when talking about past events, because that's the idea, right? That you feel comfortable, you know, talking about, you know, um, your past events or completed actions in the past with the right verb, right? So what I'm going to do after we finish the class is that I'm going to share in the WhatsApp group one, a list of verbs, right? So that you can study okay and practice too i will share with you i think it's a video it's just an example an example of a video that you can use to learn the irregular verbs i mean regular verbs are let's say easier than the irregular verbs right regular verbs they just follow rules right so i need to learn and study certain rules and i can convert you know verbs into simple past but there are other verbs, you know, that are completely different to the base form, like the one that you can see here is a regular verb, okay? So, but what happens, but what happens when I have a different type of verb, right? When I have this one, cuando tengo estos que ven en pantalla, right? So that's different. Entonces, una manera de yo ir avanzando con respecto a simple past y en un futuro um, present perfect is by learning or memorizing the verbs. So you have to learn them by heart. Hay que memorizarlos, de lo contrario, pues es bien difícil, ¿verdad? Hablar en simple past, okay? So, and then the third thing, la tercera cosa que les voy a compartir son los links que les había dicho. Pero prefiero mejor hacerlo hoy por la noche. No quiero molestarlos el día de mañana ni el domingo. Así que I will share with you all that information. <laughs> sí, es cierto. I will share with you all that information para que ahí le quede para quien pueda practicar. Remember, no son tareas, no son obligaciones, solo es para quien pueda y tenga tiempo de practicar. Okay. Entonces, after we finish the class, um, I'll take some time and I will check that with uh, with you later on. Okay. Pero antes de irme, chicos, ¿hay alguna pregunta, algo que ustedes necesiten saber o algo más que necesiten que le comparte uh, aparte de la lista, el video y la... Ah, también chicos, les voy a compartir un video que, bueno, en lo personal, es un video que eh, da una explicación bien clara sobre cuál es la pronunciación del pasado en, en, en los regulares. Así que, study that, si puede, estudielo, ¿verdad? And if you have any questions, let me know. ¿Alguna pregunta? No questions. No questions. Bye. Thank you.
You're welcome. So guys, I'm going to stop here, but thank you very much for joining today. Let's go ahead and meet on Monday, right? Same time, same channel. Así que have a wonderful weekend and good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Nice bye. weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye.